Meanwhile, Pasco County is not the only school district in our area dealing with the bus driver shortage, so we wanted to find out why so many are shorthanded right now. Yeah, and what exactly does it take to become a bus driver for a local school district? ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler spending time today with those who work to make sure kids get to and from school safely to get those answers. Because the Pasco School District is short almost 90 bus drivers, delays are impossible to avoid, and that's tough for Jack Miller to deal with. We kind of always pride ourselves of getting everybody there. Plus, they get breakfast when they get to school. So when we're late, and now it's rush, 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 and sometimes they're going into classrooms that are already in session. So that's disrupting everybody. The school district always seems to be looking for drivers, but area supervisor Nettie Morales says she's never seen a shortage like this. It's a challenge, and it has been a challenge, and it seems like this year is more than any other time that we've experienced. Again, I've been here 16 years, and we've never had it this bad. There are many possible reasons why districts around the country are short so many drivers. Some older bus drivers are stepping away from the job because of COVID concerns, and pay may not be worth the stress when compared to unemployment benefits. Those who are hired will start with 15 days of paid training and then go full time at $13.40 an hour. There's also health benefits and the opportunity to make more money with extracurricular trips. If you like children, this is a perfect job for you. Tori Walter has been driving a Pasco County school bus for 15 years. You know, money is not everything, but it does have many rewards that uh, a lot of people that I work with, I love who I work with. I love my job. And those who do the job say there's no reason to be intimidated by the idea of driving something so big. When you drive, you have so many mirrors that they're so easy to see actually when you're doing the turns, when you're backing up. So it's, uh, it's easier than your actual car. Until the district can hire more drivers, those on the job are asked to do more, including longer shifts and transporting more passengers. Everyone is hoping for some relief, but it could be a long time before it comes. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.